Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I go about making my press on nails. So the first thing that you guys saw was the little blue tack that I like to use to make my nails stick to my sand. I find that this tack is really nice and it doesn't get stuck on the back of the nails, but it's also sturdy enough to keep the nails on there for the most part. I also like to use the Apray Gel X nails for my press-on, so the set that I'm doing today is in the square medium, and this is the natural. They also have a sculpted version, which I actually don't offer in my store um, as of now. I may in the future, but for right now I just stick to the natural. But I just go in after I place the nails on my stands, which I got on Amazon, and I like to go in and I like to file up the nail a little bit. I don't really refine the shape, I just file the edge and then I file the top of the nail. You can do this with a buffing block, which I showed you on the first nail, or with an emery board. I prefer the emery board because I just find it works a little bit faster and it's a little bit easier to hold, especially because you're not working on a real finger, so it just makes it a little bit easier. Alrighty, so now that we're done filing and buffing the nails, I'm going to go in with my C&D swipe. And this is just a product that will clean the nails. You can also use alcohol or acetone as well. And then we're going to go in with our base coat. So I'm just going to apply a base coat on all of the nails and then I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my Melody Susie lamp. And then we're going to apply the polish. So I actually started my press on nail company. I launched my website on September 20th of 2020. Um, I haven't gotten any sales yet, which is perfectly fine. I don't really have much of an audience to start out with, but I thought it would be interesting to kind of share the process of how I'm opening my website and little tips and tricks that I can share with anybody who is also thinking about starting a press on nail company. So just really fast before I continue on with that. I'm going to now start painting the nails with the color polish. So I'm using this olive green color from Madame Glam and then this is like a nude-ish pink color from Model Ones. So I know some people may be looking at this color thinking like, well, that's way too pink for me. But I actually do plan on offering different um, options when it comes to nude colors because I know not all nude colors will fit all skin colors equally. So I know something that may look like a nude pink on me or like a nude on somebody else may look way brighter pink on somebody who is darker. And on somebody who is darker, like a nude on them may look like a lot darker on somebody who's more fair skin colored so um, I do plan on offering different options for that reason to make sure that you're getting like the best fit possible so after I'm done painting the nails I cure them for 60 seconds to make sure that they cure properly and now we're gonna go in and do our smile line so I'm taking that um, olive green color again and I am doing my smile line it's a little bit hard to explain how I do this I kind of make two lines that meet in the middle and then curve them if that makes sense if you guys want a more in-depth video because this isn't really a tutorial if you guys want a more in-depth video on how to do hand painted designs for your press on nails then let me know and we can work on like smile lines and everything sorry if you can hear my kid <laughs> but um, I just go in and I do the line and then I fill it in with the nail polish brush and then I decided that it the smile line wasn't deep enough so I went back in and made it a little bit deeper so that I could actually fit like more design onto the tip if you guys are interested in any of the products that I'm using in this video make sure you check down in the description box down below I'll have everything that can be linked down there so if you're curious about anything make sure you check down there so now what I'm doing is I'm making a little dot where the top of my, or not the top, the bottom of my smile line is, and then I'm just going to create my smile line. So the difference with this nail, this is going to be our camo um, tip nail, 
So I decided to go ahead and make the line so that I know where to make my designs and then the line will be covered with Swarovski crystals at the end as you'll see. So now with this nail we're going in and we're going to do the camouflage nail. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking a black and I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm just making these like random patterned uh, little blobs all over the nail where I think it will look good. I am looking at a reference picture. This set is inspired by nails by Bono, Bano. I'll have her linked on my Instagram picture. If you guys are interested in seeing this, she did an acrylic set that looks similar to this. So I took the inspiration from that. And so I'm using the black. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. You can do a flash cure of 10 seconds if you want, but I like to just make sure that it's properly cured. And then I'm going to go in and I actually, actually mixed my olive green and my black together and I made like a darker olive green color. So I'm going in with that color and I'm just placing it randomly across the nail. You can place it over some of the black and then you'll place some of it by itself. So it can be, it's like a layered look, but then you also want to make sure that you are getting some blobs that are by themselves. And then the next color that I do is just the olive green by itself. So then you'll see me going in with just the olive green. And for my palettes that I like to leave my paint on, I like to just use foil. Um, it's cheap and I can throw it away when I'm done. I don't have to worry about like cleaning it up or anything. Um, so I like to use foil for my like paint palettes. And then I also mixed the olive green and some clear top coat. And I'm just going ahead and placing that as my lightest color all around. And yeah, that's how I did my camo. Sorry, that's not like the best tutorial, but I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. And so I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on this nail. It's just a little bit smaller because obviously I'm not doing it on the full nail, but I'm just gonna kind of go in order from darkest to lightest and then place little blobs all over the place and layer them until I get a camo effect. So if I made any mistakes while doing the design that I was doing, then I would either take some scrub fresh and I would just wipe off any of the uncured polish with a lint free wipe, or I would take the other side of this dotting tool, which is the lining brush, and I would just wipe away the polish um, at the part that I didn't want it. And that worked perfectly for me. So once I'm done with the design, I just go ahead and I cure it again for 60 seconds. And now we're gonna go in with our Cervaski crystals. So these are the rose gold crystals from Blue Streak um, Crystals, I believe. I really like their company. They're the first company that I've ordered Cervaski crystals off of. So um, it came really fast and they're really good quality and it comes with a whole bunch of sizes, um, like the kit that I got. So for the design, I decided to put one of the medium-sized Cervaskis in the middle, and then I surrounded that with smaller crystals going down either side, so it was just along the line of the French tip, and I think it came out super cute. So as you can see, um, I am having some trouble like figuring out which size I want to put where, so... But one of the nail techs I follow, she recommended using base coat for placing your Swarovski so I decided to try that for this set and so it was nice because I was able to move the crystals after I placed them if it was the wrong size or not quite where I wanted it rather than using like a glue or something so I am um, I did like that I don't know how well they last I haven't had these nails on for very long but um, I do like that you were able to move the crystals so I would recommend trying it I mean give it a try and see how well it works for you and for this look, it was also important that I had both of the nails looking pretty symmetrical. So as you can see, I am going ahead and comparing the nails together as I'm placing the crystals to make sure that they look about the same. I completely forgot to mention that for my tool that I'm using to place the crystals, I'm using a fake 
crystal katana that I got off of Amazon for a few dollars. I have messed it up quite a bit. As you can see, there's glue on the metal part of it, and then the rubber part is kind of all messed up and looking crazy, so I probably need a new one, but these work really well with placing your crystals so if you haven't tried one or struggle placing your crystals i would definitely recommend using one of these it works really well so here's the nails after i'm done placing the crystals i just placed that into the light for 60 seconds to cure that base gel and now i'm going in with top coat this top coat is from Lavender Violets. I go through top coat and base coat a lot because I find that top coat and base coat get, I don't even know what the word is, but like I get like little crystals and color sometimes stuck in my top coat. So I have to go through top coat a lot. And I really like the Lavender Violets top coat. It's a cheaper one I got in like a kit of like 30 polishes. But um, I would definitely recommend their top coat. It works really well. As you can see, the shine is really nice. So I do not go over my Swarovski crystals with the top coat. As you can see here, I am just kind of going around the crystals. Um, but yeah, so after I top coat the nails, then I cure again for 60 seconds. And then I like to wipe the top with the scrub fresh just to make sure. And here's the final look. So if you guys are interested in purchasing these, my website will be linked down below. But other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for more. Love you guys. Bye.